not a game, it's a rich thing. I said good morning. What do you want for breakfast? Um, pancakes. Pancakes? Okay. Where's Isaiah? Uh, down on the couch downstairs sleeping. I fell asleep on the couch. Are you going to clean up this room today? Uh, so I'll help you, okay? okay? Can you turn off your light? Okay. It's just for I keep on all day. Mm hmm. I'm scared of the dark. What are you scared of the dark for? Good morning. Are you want to talk about these chores now? What do you mean? What's y'all thought on chores? What do you mean their thought on chores? Everybody should, every child should be doing chores. If your kid's okay. not doing chores, you're doing something wrong. Or you have All a right. nanny. Let's talk about this chore right here. Tidy. Tidy up kitchen before bed. Which means, what does that mean? <laughs> you're talking to me like these are my chores. Alright, let's ask them. Isaiah. What does tidy up kitchen before bed mean? Do the dishes, um, if like the mom said, like the toaster that's gonna be out at night, the coffee thing, like if there's any um, open bridges out. As the kitchen is a little bit messy. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Nah, right. nah, let's get going because what you said was you don't want to, you don't want him to do dishes because he don't do them right the first time and you don't want to use a dishwasher because the dishwasher is dingy yeah i don't mind doing the water. dishes because they get done clean no because right, right. when there's dishes in there and then <clears throat> my thing is if he does it right the first time he wouldn't have to but if he doesn't do it right they'll do it the second time third time eventually he'll learn okay but this one gets mad at me because i didn't do the dishes it who's this one but that's his who's this one you and that's his turn camera. No, turn that was, that was, I got mad at you because they weren't here and you did, you left the dishes here for he like two days. Did, he could have done them before he left. There was no dishes when he left. No. You dirtied those and dishes. You asked me, did I do the dishes? And I did the dishes. I put them in the dishwasher and I okay. ran them. Well, here's what's going on. There's like hardly any dishes now. Isaiah, can you help me put away these clean ones? Mm. Are we going to keep talking about these chores? Not really. No. Okay. But you did yesterday. good yesterday, yo. So I really want to organize underneath this cabinet where we have all the pots and pans. Just everything needs to be reorganized and restructured because I literally cannot stand it. On a level or on a scale of one to ten, how much do you like flautas, Eric? Ten. Ten out of ten. Huh? You're making Okay, good. I'm glad you said that on camera. So, this is a very easy recipe. I don't know if it's, well, actually, I know it's not authentic, but this is the way that I do it. I'm not Mexican, so I don't know the real way to do it. Oh, I forgot the beans. But this is how we make flautas. So you take corn tortillas, 
microwave them for like a minute, however many you're gonna have. Let me see, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is 10. So that's enough for me and Eric. So just wrap them in a paper towel and microwave for a minute. In the meantime, I have vegetable oil heating up on the pan on like medium heat. You don't want it too hot because if it's too hot, you're gonna burn the tortillas before you can even like melt the cheese. Refried beans, I just had extra in the fridge. Mexican cheese, the floor blend. I have two bags here. You will need queso fresco, it's like the crumbly cheese. It's usually like an oat in a circular bag and it's wet. Crema, this is like, um, I guess it's kind of like sour cream, but like thinner. And good old salsa verde. You could add chicken to this, you could add like kind of whatever you want, but we just like it like this. So, what I'm gonna do, ooh, this shit's hot. Yeah. I am, I'm hurrying, Eric. If you're gonna eat the whole serving of guac, you don't necessarily need this, but I know that we're not gonna eat the whole thing, so this is gonna ensure that it stays from, or keeps it from getting brown. So just add a pit right on top, kind of dig it in, you know, just like into the center, and cover it with saran wrap, you put it in the fridge, and I promise you, tomorrow, your guac will still be green. I do this literally, literally every single time I make guac, and I make guac like every week or so. Enjoy. Yeah. Eric is my taste tester, but Eric's usually my taste tester, but he left for work. 
<laughs> so good. I'm so good. I'm making guac. It is so bomb. Before I send this upstairs, I'll let you guys see what I got for rain because she's out growing all of her stuff and I was I saw that old Navy was having a sale. So first things first. I got some new, um, a new bathing suit for Isaiah because he was outgrowing the one that he has. So I got him that. I went ahead and got, did I buy it? I did, okay. I went ahead and bought Rain a bathing suit, which is so cute. Look how precious this is. I actually think it's going to be too small on her though. She's a little chunky thing. I got, let me see what size I got. That's why I got zero to three months like an idiot. I was supposed to get three to six, but all right, well, that's going back. Put it back in the bag. I got her some short sleeve onesies. This one is super cute. The TV's on kind of loud. We love anything that says rain. We love anything that has rainbows on it since her name is Rain. So I got her that. This cute little romper. I think everything is three to six months. These little overalls, which I died when I saw them. Let me just put a little onesie underneath it. Got her that. Um, this is another, yeah, another little romper. Super cute. And a little hat. It was supposed to be for, you know, with, to go with her bathing suit, but I'll just exchange the bathing suit for a larger size and that's everything I got her. toned because it's super getting kind of not the color that I want it to be but because I'm going through postpartum hair loss I don't want to add more bleach or more toner or whatever so I think I'm just going to strain it to avoid having to brush it so much when it's curly it's not here so I'm just going to straighten it and give it a rest from the trauma of like brushing and getting the tangles out Eric, oh. are you about to take a nap? No, it's since two o'clock, yo. Why? For the rain. Now I can move out to sleep. Okay, but it's not like she was up like the whole night. It was you then. I just couldn't move out to sleep. Mm, sounds like a personal and problem. Then, uh, I got my hair straightened. Oh, it's away from the light. Let me test out this light on. Ah! Who does that, Ooh, I got my hair straightened and it looks a lot blonde, more blonde when it's straight. So we're going to head now to a bakery to go find a cake for my mom's birthday. Come on, Eric, get up. Turn the sun off. It's not the sun, it's a light. I got a lighting system in, so I'm testing it out. Come on, let's go for real, because I feel like they close early. You want a bath today, Scooby? Huh, Bubby? Molly, do you want a bath today? All right, go, 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 get back, get back. Oh my God, look at when you have dogs. I've been cleaning this window like it's nobody's business. There's a surprise in the back seat of the car. It's heavy, I can't lift it on my own. Eric doesn't know it yet, but we're going to Costco to get them a new dog bed because this one is like ripped and dirty. This is her little submissive look. Hi, my Molly bear. We call her a little bear. She's so dark. And you. Hi, Scooby. What are you guys doing? My mom. What are you guys doing? Can I send a trick to, nu to nuking pizza? What do you mean the trick to nuking pizza? The trick is you don't nuke pizza, you put it in the oven. You get a cup of water and you put it in the microwave for 45 seconds with the pizza. It should be like a glass plate. Yeah, glass but then you're putting bread. humidity in the microwave and then the pizza's gonna be soggy. No, it's, it's soggy, but it still tastes like, it's not really soggy. It tastes like you buy it. Okay, well, 
whatever. It seems like you just bought it. Let's get up out of here. We've arrived. Nothing but cakes. So they have a thousand and five flavors. Yeah, so far. That's crazy. I think she like saw us coming, just like ran to try to beat this show. I wonder what people think when they see you with a camera around. Do they think, oh, they're making a YouTube video. They're like, yeah. Okay, and then for the inch cake, did you know what flavor you wanted? We'll just do vanilla. Vanilla? Yeah. So we got an eight inch vanilla cake for 20 bucks. That's a used dog there for twenty dollars. Somebody will buy it. I'm not, that's so dirty. We are looking for dog beds because the dogs need a new bed, and we also have to go to Target. And that's it. What do you mean? That's all we're going. Unless we have to go to Costco for the bed. Twenty-four by thirty-four inches, but it's Is forty dollars. We can get a new one at, at from Costco. From oh, but it's Kong brand. That's a good brand. But this is for if they chew it. They don't chew beds. Like ballistic <laughs> chew true. resistant. Our dogs lick their bed. But I feel like if we buy the bed from Costco, I'm gonna do what my dad said on on the inside, cover the inside part with the plastic. So you said before, and it sounds mad annoying. Every time I lay down, you hear every. I know. Well, I sound. haven't tried it yet. It's not worth for forty dollars. Mm -hmm. I'll just buy another bed. Mhm. Mm so that's good. All yours. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what plastic sounds like. <laughs> That's how you sound when you snore. That's how you sound when you brush your teeth. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it does. It does. Uh, Alright, let's go. Oh, uh, should we get those instead? No, they're probably still good. Can you hold this basket? It's getting heavy now. And they don't have. I mean, we're at Target. They don't have a lot of things. I can make a salsa. Oh, Your homeboy, see if he can get you some salsa. Ooh, cookies. We are back home now. Um, I'll do a little Target haul for you guys in a second. We just finished eating lunch. I'm here chilling with baby girl, Irene. She just woke up from a nap. She's doing this really like annoying thing where she'll take a nap, but like only stay sleeping for, if we're lucky, 20 minutes. It's like I, get, I don't get the opportunity to get anything done, so. Yeah, I think we're just gonna chill for the rest of the day. Like, I really wanna like clean and organize some stuff and I'm just so tired, I don't feel like doing any of that. So I'm just going to um, probably give the dogs a bath at, at minimum and then resume my like to-do list tomorrow because I can't today, I'm just not in the mood. Quick little Target haul. Well, we got two of these large dog beds from Costco. And then from Target, we literally just got like junk, literally. Cookies. <laughs> if y'all don't know, these oatmeal frosted or iced oatmeal cookies are so good. So we just got a bunch of those to last us a little while. What else did we get? Oh wow, we got like five packs of cookies. They go fast. Yep, I got some more green salsa. What else do we have here? Really not much. I literally bought this dish soap because the bottle is cute. So I got two of these, I think. Counter spray from Target as well. I like the Ever Spring line a lot. We got some more Pringles because Eric and I are obsessed with sour cream and onion Pringles. And we got, well, Eric got these shoe inserts for when he's training. I guess he's on his feet a lot and they bother him, so. That's all we got. It's not a game, it's a
we're gonna wrap up this video now. I'm tired. I've been up since two o'clock with rain. We're not up since two o'clock. Yeah, Anyways. I try to sleep, and then you start doing this thing again. From that bright sun in the room, I just went over rain outside. I could have slept good with that rain and the sun. Okay. Anyway, we're having burgers for dinner. We're gonna wrap it up. We'll see you guys in our next video. Peace. It's not a game. It's a rich thing.